I don't say this very often, but y'all have got to see this makeover on this dresser. Wait till you see how it started and check out what it looks like now. Let's do this. First things first, we are working on the drawers. So I pulled out each one of the drawers and checked to see sometimes these bottoms come unattached. So I hammered in the nails and then used my nail gun to tack in an extra nail to keep that bottom attached to the side of the drawers. And that's usually all you need to fix up the drawers and make sure that they are nice and solid. Now this dresser was from the basement of a very cool old house and so it was more than a little dirty. <laughs> um, I started with the inside of the drawers. It wasn't necessarily dusty enough to vacuum, but if you had a lot of mess in a drawer, you could definitely vacuum it out. This was just a lot of old dirt. So I'm using Dixie Belle's White Lightning mixed up in my spray bottle. I do have gloves on to protect my hands. I think I used almost an entire roll of paper towels on this dresser. That's how dirty it was. Some pieces are just like that. They are well worth all of the work, but you will spend just about as much time cleaning it up as you will making it pretty on the outside. When I was working on this, it was a bright sunny day in Pittsburgh. So all of these drawers went to sit out in the sunshine to really dry while I worked on the rest of the dresser. And then we just did the exact same thing on the body of the dresser, vacuum it off first, get all those cobwebs, and then spray down the entire dresser, the back, the bottom, the sides, the inside and clean it off again and again until your paper towels are clean. It was amazing in just cleaning this dresser really well, how much nicer it looked already. Once the inside of the dresser was cleaned, I moved on to the top. There was some great big stain on the top of this. I wanted to get off as much of that as I could and I was hoping to not have to sand. Um, however, I did have to use my sander a little bit to be sure I had a nice smooth finish for that painted top I was going for. And use anything you've got. I'm using a Scotch-Brite pad here with the White Lightning Cleaner to really scrub the top and get off as much of the grime and years of dirt that I could. Again, the top was almost perfect just as it was once it was clean but there was that giant stain in the middle and I just couldn't get away from that so I did end up painting the top of this dresser. Once the dresser was completely clean I also sat this outside in the sun. If you had a really really dirty piece like this uh, just try to clean it on a day where you have some sunshine. Sunshine is not only going to help it dry it out when you put all that cleaning on there um, but it's also going to help freshen it up. It helps with any bit of smelly drawers or anything like that. You just need some sunshine to really kind of bake the piece, get all the water off of it and give you a nice clean surface. Okay these drawers are a gorgeous species of wood and so I wanted that to really stand out and pop. I decided to sand down the front of the drawers so the case of this will all be painted and those drawer fronts will really take the cake and be the star of the show. I sanded down the drawer fronts with my pad sander. I used 120 grit sandpaper to really get down through the layer of varnish and my favorite way to sand is to hook up my sander to my shop vac. That really takes care of the dust as I'm working and keeps the garage nice and clean. I used a little bit of stain just to even out those drawer fronts just a bit. They did not come out perfectly smooth. The curve of the drawers made sanding a little bit tricky. So the stain really helps hide any areas that maybe not every bit of that varnish came off. I think the stain, like I said, just really evens out the color of the drawer fronts. So just a quick layer of water-based stain was all it took on the front of these drawers to give them the color I was going for. 
once the stain was all dry, I used Dixie Belle's Howdy Doody Hemp Oil to really seal in these drawers. I love hemp oil for an old worn out piece like this where I really want to accentuate the grain of the wood to really rehydrate that wood and make it shine. So that is what I used on the drawer fronts. Now on the inside of the drawers, I wanted to kind of freshen them up a bit they are clean now, but they just look pretty dried out. So I grabbed some Big Mama's Butter. I had the scent orange. So I used that with an old t-shirt and just wiped down the inside of the drawers. What this stuff does, it's fantastic. It not only rehydrates the wood and makes it shine and look beautiful, but it also helps deodorize the inside of the drawer and just gives you a nice, fresh, clean smell. Again, this process takes a little bit of time to hit every side of all of those drawers, but it is well worth it in the long run. You, that way you really get a beautiful restored dresser. Now for the fun part, I grabbed the most beautiful color of paint, antebellum blue, and I started working on the top, worked my way around the sides and painted the entire case of this dresser. I just, cannot get enough of this color. I completely love it. I think it pairs so well with our wooden drawer fronts. It also covers really well. So it took one coat with a few places of a bit of touch up and that was all that I needed on this dresser. But not least was just installing some new hardware. I found these knobs at Hobby Lobby and I felt like they were really nice and neutral and didn't compete with the beautiful colors and the wood grain that we had going on. Just like that, this dresser makeover is complete. It is one of my favorite things to take a really cool old piece of furniture and give it new life, peel back all those layers of dirt and grime and varnish to reveal something gorgeous that will last for years to come. I hope this inspired you to take a piece that you own or maybe have found and turn it into something brand new. If you wanna see more about how to refinish and stain wood, you can check out this video and a little bit more in-depth version of how to use chalk paint, check out this video here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you guys next time.